In today's YouTube video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite passes from the gun spread formation in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if this is your first time watching my YouTube channel, what I do here on YouTube is I break down Madden 21 tips and tricks both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball to help you get better and win more games in Madden. So if that's something that interests you, if you want to get better at this game, I want to ask you right now to go ahead and click subscribe it's completely free to subscribe all you gotta do is I hit that little icon down at the bottom right hand corner of your screen and research shows that out of every one of you that's gonna watch this video only 40% of you guys are actually subscribed so if you've been following the channel for any length of time and you have not subscribed yet I'd highly encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss any of these important videos that we post that share different tips and tricks for how you can be better on both the offensive and the defensive side of the ball in Madden 21 all right, guys, so I've been doing some tips and tricks out of spread. I'm kind of getting back into the spread a little bit. I've got Patrick Mahomes in my PS4 online CFM. If you're interested in joining either our PS4 or our Xbox One online CFMs, they are for cash money. A $100 prize goes to our Super Bowl champions on both consoles. So make sure to text me, and these are leagues that do continue year to year, so you have multiple chances to be able to win the money. All right, guys, I want to talk about the gun spread, and I want to talk specifically about a couple of different things that I have really not talked about a lot from this, and uh, it's specifically gun spread flipped. And what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about alignment issues within the gun spread that it creates when people use coverages like the big nickel over G, cover three Mabel that a lot of people will run. So cover three Mabel, essentially what they're going to do is you're going to see something like this. You're going to have a Mabel coverage to one side, and then you're going to have uh, their user on the back side. So it might look something like just this is a very good example for what you could get. You could get something like this, and basically what they're going to do is they're going to put their linebackers in hard flats. And you see they get pretty good alignment because the safety can come down in the box. They're going to get really, really good alignment for this play. This is where I actually really like to go to this play right here. It's one of my favorite plays out of my Arizona offense, and that's the hitch seam. And the reason why I like this play so much is I feel like this little streak right here to Robert Tunyon is super, super underrated, and you can pair it with a curl flat concept to the right side of the field. So essentially what I'm doing is I've got a couple, I've got two curl flat concepts, which are basically unguardable, especially because all you've done is you've smart routed the hitch routes. And this is from the Arizona Cardinals offensive ebook, which if you have not picked up the Arizona Cardinals offensive ebook, it is one of the best offenses in Madden 21. If you want to throw the ball, this is a phenomenal offense. We've turned people into uh, 500 yard passers with this scheme. We've allowed and really shared with people how to truly read the defense at a high level. So if you want to pick up that ebook, it's in the description of this video. All right, so what you're going to see here is we're just going to read this coverage. And basically, if the slot corner goes out of the way, you see that we're going to be able to hit that route right there to Robert Tunyon. Now, one of the things that you have to learn how to read and learn how to progress um, naturally is what if they base a line, right? So you could see something like this uh, a ton, right? You could see, I mean, very, very often you'll see these little hard flats. Now, the reason that this is significant is let's say that I tried to do, you know, something like this where we just tried to get the ball out quick. You're going to notice that these hard flats are going to pick that. As you see right there, not going to be able to get the ball out quick enough to be able to beat those hard flat defenders. This is part of what makes the big nickel over G one of the best defenses in Madden 21, in my opinion, if not the best defense in Madden 21. I personally think nickel 3 3 5 wide is the best defense, which we actually just released an EBIC on that as well, if you want to pick that up, and that's in the description. Um, but anyway, let's talk a little bit more about big nickel over G. So again, this is what you're going to see a lot. I mean, you're going to get a lot of this look right here with the Mabel coverage, and then they're going to use her on the side of the running back and basically jump into the hooks. So what do you do? Well, this is where you have this route right here to Tunyon, and then we're going to run a simple little hitch. And I actually leak. I honestly really like to leave this at a default depth. I actually think it works better if you leave it at default and smart routing it. And then with Devontae Adams, you know, you can do whatever you really want. You could put him on a vertical route if you wanted to. Um, you, you could do all kinds of different things. You could pretty much do whatever you want with Adams and Jones. But on this backside, we're just going to put Brown on a flat. And basically what we're doing at the snap of balls, we're looking to see if we can throw this. If we can get this ball out there to St. Brown, we're going to hit that really, really quickly. So if they blitz us or they're not playing hard flats on both sides of the field, that's going to really hurt them. Um, and so what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to start doing this. They're going to have to put this guy 
in a hard flat, and this guy's going to have to be in a purple zone if they're going to run Mabel coverage. And so with that, with that, um, what that is going to mean for our defense is now we're going to have a little bit more room to play with, um, specifically as it pertains to this route right here. So if we see that, then we can go to that right there. And as you can see, that little five-yard hitch right on the outside, I think these are super, super effective. And I know they're not like groundbreaking in terms of how much yard how much yardage you're going to get but they truly are unstoppable like i'm going to run cover two hard flat and i just want you to watch um these are vert hooks on the field from the slot corner and you'll see right here that i can fit that ball right in there to marquez about scantling because the hitch route from the outside receiver performs much differently than from the inside receiver the other reason that this is really, really good is let's let me show you really quickly what I'm talking about. So let's say that we double flat it, right? So we're gonna take that guy, put him in a hard flat, and then let's do. I mean, we're just gonna go all out to stop this. We got a vertical hook, we got a Mabel coverage, and we got a double flat out of cover two. So if I go to this hitch seam, what you're gonna see here again, this little simple route combination, nobody's gonna cover him. It's a low pass inside and it's wide open against zone coverage now the beauty of this is you might be saying well what if they run like press man there ain't no way that's going to be open against press man the beauty of these little hitch routes is they are stock and they're on the line of scrimmage and because of that they're going to get this animation right here which basically just allows him to sit against man coverage in a really powerful way so you're going to be able to throw this against man and zone coverage so pretty much no matter what they do on the right side you have a plan and you have an easy read to be able to hit them. Now on the left side, you just have to kind of figure out what do you want to try to attack? Do you want to try to attack the um, the seams? Do you want to try to attack, you know, different things like that? Because if you do, if I want to attack this seam route right here to Robert Tunyon, then that's going to change a little bit about the route combination. But as you can see right here, that combination or that route right there is actually really, really powerful against that big nickel over G cover three especially if their corner or if their user goes to the right side of the field. So if they're using this guy, but they're worried about that route over there, right? If you see something like this, this is a very popular defense to try to stop this. So you see that he jumps that way and that's going to leave that window right there open for Robert Tunyon. What you're forcing your opponent to do is you're forcing your opponent to use her on both sides of the field. So if he goes to the left, you're going to hit your seam route, your, your streak route. And if he goes to the right, then you're going to hit your hitch. Um, or I'm sorry, if he goes to the right, you're going to hit your streak. And if he goes to the left, you're going to hit your hitch. So that's kind of how you can kind of piece together this really, really powerful uh, concept. So really all it leaves left to be desired is what do you do with your right side? Uh, what do you do with your right side? Uh, or I'm sorry, your left side. What do you do with Devontae Adams, and what do you do with Aaron Jones? A lot of options that you can do, but as you're piecing together your offense, you want to have stuff that really works well against a little bit of everything, and what's going to counter that streak route, right? So one of the things that could counter potentially the streak route is them having a really, really good user right over here in this pocket, right? So what that's going to force them to not be able to do is now what they're going to struggle to do is they're going to struggle to take a care of the hitch route to Devontae Adams. So you kind of have can do the same combination. If I take Jones and I put him on a swing route, you're going to notice that late in the read, Devontae Adams is going to be coming wide open against pretty much anything that they want to do. One other little piece of this that I think is actually really, really powerful that you could do, um, because again, you have to recognize you know where everything is going. Let's say that they run cover three, right? And let's say they do something like this right here. The no another little piece of this that could actually be very powerful for you is taking Devontae Adams and actually putting him on an out route. And I know a lot of people don't run out routes this year, but this out route in particular is actually really, really good because what you're going to notice is it's going to kind of hold the safety on the left side of the screen. And so what that's going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to have a really, really good option um, against cover three on this side of the field. So what I like to do with this play is you have this combination on the right and then on the left side you're going to have an out route and then to the running back you can kind of do whatever you want with him you can leave him on this route right here it's actually a very effective route you could also put him on a block and release to the flat in case they're not playing hard flats you always want to force them to have to play hard flats on both sides of the field um, you could even put him on a wheel route right you could do all kinds of things with this running back but for right now i'm just going to leave him on this block and release and what you're going to notice against cover three 
is this route can sometimes uh, to Robert Tunyon that route can sometimes be wide open if they're running like a stock basic cover three and I'll show you what I'm talking about here with this um, and, and again this this right side is gonna be super super clean super super crisp you're gonna be able to hit that all day long so then the question is you know again how do they adjust to that if they run just standard cover three you're gonna see here you see you see how that corner on the left side he'll kind of he'll kind of um, think about doing something you know basically think about it and then not do it um, so that's kind of something that you want to capitalize on uh, within this play so you know, I might do something like this have my little out route and we'll just show you here late in the play um, right there that's what we're kind of looking for from from Robert Tunyon um, we just didn't get a great pass lead from Aaron Rodgers so you want to kind of watch that left side corner if that left side corner does jump down uh, on your cover on your um, on your out route that's going to be a sign that you're going to have a chance to hit this with a hard left pass lead you do have to pass lead this to the left side but if I hard left pass lead this I can actually get that over the top or um, or if I just lob it like straight up over the top we're going to come back to the out route here in just a second but this gives you a really nice little wrinkle play that you can combine with some of the other things that you've already been running um, but now that you have this right here, you see that you can really work these little underneath hitches. But real quick on this cover three, you'll notice that he'll kind of fake like he's going to go out and then he'll come back out. So that's another reason why I think this is actually really powerful. So we'll just set this up so you can kind of see the coverage. But really quickly, you see this roll coverage, right? And if you watch here, Devontae Adams is going to pull this outside corner right there. And that's where you can kind of get that ball over the top. Now, it's a little bit of a tight window throw, and I understand that. But I want you to understand kind of what you're able to do with this. And what this is going to force your opponent to have to rec re wrestle with is running some type of deep half on that side. So once they start running deep halves on this side, the whole world becomes wide open. Because now this is where we're going to start going to this out route consistently and a lot of people don't run out routes in Madden 21 I actually think that's a mistake especially if you have like a route tech receiver or something like that um, and you're not running you're not running these little out routes these out routes can be super super beneficial um, especially if you have like a little little flat route to pull anything down here but these little quick outs right there are super powerful especially off of inside breaking routes so it's going to really allow you to open up the whole field uh, for your for your offense but this little streak right here is going to do a really good job so what that's going to force is let's say they run some type of cover two on the left side now you'll see that you can actually because cloud flats don't really defend out routes this year you can actually get that ball out to that outside and it's really going to be you know fairly effective now again the, the the one thing i do want you to always know is if you leave Devonte on this little hitch right here you're going to have a lot of success that that hitch right there is a nice little check down as well it's kind of the same route on the left side that it is on the right side um, so that is something else that is really powerful one last little thing uh, and tip about this formation is if you motion Devonte Adams to the left you see that they're gonna stack so this now gives me the option to be able to wheel the running back out, out of the formation and I'm gonna still get every benefit that I did have but now you're gonna see that that running back is gonna pull the flats out of the way and I'm gonna be able to hit that route to Devonte Adams the one last thing I want to show you about that is however if they do run like some type of vert hook you're gonna notice here that it's going to be a little bit different in terms of how the defense is going to guard it, but most of the time you're going to be able to hit this route to Devontae Adams relatively easily and be able to move the ball down the field. So this gives you something that's really, really good against the Mabel coverage, really good against any coverage, but in my opinion what I really like about this is it allows you the opportunity to have a nice safe play to attack the seams and keep moving the ball down the field. So if you want to pick up the ebook, the link is in the description. It's a full offensive ebook. We have one play touchdowns against every coverage in Madden 21. In my opinion, it's consistently been my best offense all year when I feel like I need to win a game. This is the playbook that I always go to um, just because I feel like 
from from gun spread you can have so much power at your fingertips with the different routes and the different things you're able to create on the field and in my opinion this is one of the best route combinations uh, that you can create in terms of the ab ability you have to attack the seams if they're being not very good against the seams and then you still have those little baby hitches on the outside. I think baby hitches to the outside receiver are super, super underrated this year. And there's a lot of things that you can do to kind of leverage it and continue to make it, in my opinion, one of the best ways to move the ball in Man 21. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, you can always hit me up in the description or in the, um, in the uh, comment section. Also, if you would like a full gun cluster kind of free formation breakdown from this offense, go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. We have free tips and tricks that we release every single week in our text message membership that are full schemes. If you can't afford an ebook, these are great places to get started. I break down like the Carolina Bunch, the Minnesota Single Back Trio, all those kind of things. So if you haven't texted in yet, be sure to do that. My number is in the description of this video.